Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a brand new dawn and a brand new day. My name's Tom, also known as Syndicate, and I've got one heck of a video for you today. We have got unboxings and unboxings and unboxings, and a bit of a tale of how I came a bit close to dancing. <laughs> You're just not going your way. Oh dear, what have I broken now? That is no excuse. The only thing the pregnant woman shouldn't be doing is operating heavy machinery. I'm getting in a van with a stranger. I'm legitimately running right now. I'm being chased by a wolf. Fucking hell, Jesus Christ. Oh, it is a beautiful day in England. And ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. You may have seen me here repping the Syndicate original swagger. We love it. We keep it those positive vibes on repeat. But it is time. Oh, it is time. Is it? Oh, hang on a minute. I need some socks. I need some socks. I got my socks. I got my socks. I got my socks. Because I'm going to need to get my tippy toes on and get rocking down to Syndicate Original. Because we are taking delivery of the brand new Syndicate Original drop. And usually, uh, because I, I own the company, I don't run it. When all the new stuff arrives, I sit down on my fat ass and watch my sister and my mum and everyone else unbox the stuff. However, we can't be doing that now because my sister is indeed pregnant. So I've been roped into actually pull my weight and help the delivery arrive. Now I do a relief. There's something going on outside my house and uh, oh dear, what have I broken now? Nothing, I've broken nothing. But I'm gonna have to give a quick shout out to my neighbor, Jason, because check this out. I've got a tire change going on my front door. Uh, not because I've got a flat tire or anything, but because um, it felt a bit slippy and I was told that I needed to get them changed ASAP. Uh, right, this was my old tire and this, uh, oh, is my new tire. <laughs> Yeah, okay. A little... Wow. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that was a little bit worn out. Christ. Alan's brushed his hair. <laughs> <laughs> and he's here to get the job done. So we're going to be gripping around everywhere we're going. And I may, potentially, be going to a track day. Whoa. It's like magic. i got a feeling it's going to take a bit more than 10 minutes. So I might have to walk to the shop. Yep. Off we pop. I will be back in about half an hour. Is that all right? Yeah. No, I tell you something. That's a bit of good timing, isn't it? And cool, oh, you put on some pounds. Look at that thing. Size of that woman. Yeah. <laughs> all right. The delivery is here. No, no, no. Don't let her say anything. She's just fat. I can tell there's been a pandemic. <laughs> oh, she's been busy. Hey, mother. Twiggy. Twiggy wants to say hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Fasten the dog to something. Accent yeah, stations, yeah, action yeah, stations. Yeah, what? Oh, tether the beast. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't understand what you said then. That's just mean. Right, come on. All right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wait, is that all ours? All the van. Everything in the van's ours? Yeah. Oh. You and Mum do this all by yourself? Yeah. Every time. I quit. A lot of love goes into this. I quit. This company. Oh, oh, oh. Wow! Brand new! Can you see me? Yeah! <laughs> Give me there. Give me there. Brand new Syndicate Original Shorts! <laughs> this is the old top though. It's not that old. It's the latest collection. Yeah, it's a PBOR. When, when, when we get the new top, I'll put it on. Okay. I, I, I You're not doing very good at this. It's stacking up. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we introduce to you Syndicate in the new Abstract Collection! <laughs> Oh, let's look at that. Wow. Drip, 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 drip. All about getting your creative vibe on your creative vibe on your creative vibe. Right, come on, the, uh, the boxes are piled. Quick, the dog, it's untethered. Ah! <laughs> You're doing a great job, Twiggy. This would be going much quicker if you helped. That she is no excuse. So sure. The only thing the pregnant woman shouldn't be doing is sure. operating heavy machinery. Hang on a minute. Tell me we didn't do that in record time. I think you did really well. Would you hire me? Oh, Can right. I actually get paid now? T-shirts, pay you in merch. You need to get yourself a new crew neck. From where? Syndicate.com. Explosion, I love that. So yeah, that's about the extent of my work goes. So now every box that you see that's been delivered, Alice and me mother have to count them, organize them, put them away, and then we'll be going on sale when? We don't know yet, next few, couple of weeks. Great promotion this, Alice. Great, great promotion. Yeah. Oh, no, it'll be before the baby's gone. Hey, I, I, I was saying, we need someone to replace her. I'm She's irreplaceable. Why do you keep saying this? Because she 
<laughs> You're fat. That's all you are. Uh, well, it was nice to see you. I'm getting a lift back home off the, uh, the delivery. Did you driver. walk here? Yeah, of course. I don't know. You just turned I'm a man of pinnacle, <laughs> just pinnacle just fitness. Out of nowhere. You said you needed me. <laughs> all right, well, one sec then. Let me just get you some stuff. Oh, you gotta get, yeah, get me a, uh, I want two of everything. That's how we do things, guys. Wait, uh, can, can we actually show off the merch then? Wait, let me actually have a look at it. Oh, I like the fit of the top, man. That is clean. Oh, that's good. What, driver, Mr. Driver, delivery man, what do you think of it? Do you like it? Love it. You're not just saying that, are you? Oh, it's nice. Confirmed. Delivery driver loves it. <laughs> Alrighty. So, two shorts, two crew necks. Four t-shirts, yeah? Hey, thank you. Appreciate that. No Is that everything? Is that got my white t-shirts as well? Yeah. Sweet. Talk. No worries, guys. Love you. Ring me when you need we'll see me. You later. It's lovely to see you again. Two fruit week, two fruit window. No, no way. I'm getting in a van with a stranger. Okay, if you don't you see me again. <laughs> I will, I'll get home safe, I promise. This guy seems sound. <laughs> what was your name again? Dave. Dave, legend. Thank you for this, appreciate it. That is a belt in view, that isn't it? Look at it. That is belt. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, bloke, thank you so much. Look at that. Home delivery. And the car's nearly done. Hey, we got the new dancing shoes on. Yeah. Now, this is where I go and drive it and spin it out straight away, isn't it? Yeah. This is going to be very grippy, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, squeaky. <laughs> and that is what you call an absolutely cracking day. We got the new rubber dinghy rapids on there. I have to say once again, a big shout out to this fella for sorting us out. He's absolutely crushed it. Thank you, sir. But more so also to HTF Tire Services. My neighbor, Jason, <laughs> like, it's literally my neighbor. Like anyone could move in next door to you, right? You'd be like, yeah, you know, you get along with them, say hello, whatever. But when someone actually is of really good use to you, it's a win. So Jason, thank you so much for that, brother. I appreciate it a lot. Just go easy on me with the bill because uh, yeah, I know these tires ain't cheap. Real quick, I want to see what I look like in the full weather. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, clean shirt on the front, just clean, nothing too in your face. On the back, fresh as fuck design, I like it, I like it. And the shorts, sleek and very clean. Now I've got to say, I'm loving the swag, but it's time to step it up because I've filmed something a little bit epic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a segment in the vlog I am going to call the biggest razor unboxing ever, asterisk, on the life of Tom Chapman. As you guys know, I'm sponsored by Razor, and this is indeed a sponsored video. Because Razor, you know, they've hooked me up over the years with brand new gaming headsets, keyboards, mice, laptops, which, for the record, I was sent, not the ones that I obtained in different means or ways. I really do. Are you freaking kidding me? But basically, Razor were going to hook me up with a brand new laptop. And I thought that was absolutely swell and absolutely sweet. Until I received an email saying, Tom, we're going to be sending you something a little bit more epic than just a laptop. Because if we go wide angle for a minute, I'm going to need this space. Razer has done a collaboration with Toomey and created something absolutely epic, which is a limited edition collaboration of 1337 units worldwide for me to showcase. Now, you guys, if you like what you're about to see, can go ahead and get more information and get your own set up of this limited edition one product that we're gonna see by clicking the link down below. But I'm saying this like confused and unknown as I haven't yet seen it. So, little laptop unboxing, you're gonna have to take a back seat because I have this, 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 and this. I'm also going to say, uh, this is not even everything Razor sent me. Uh, I also got this massive box, uh, but I'm going to have to save this for a later date. So, Razor, thank you very much for hooking it up. And more so, Razor and Toomey, thank you for this collaboration, because your boy has been swagged out. But right, get this man a knife. Shing, shing! Okay, now, I would actually love to unbox it with that, but that is probably the worst decision ever. Guys, um... It's not the size that matters, it's how you use it. So, right, which one are we gonna get in first? I'm thinking, I'm going to pick you. Right, I do believe I am unboxing some travel luggage, but like, I feel like that might be doing it a bit of a disservice. And, okay, let's get this open. Loading! Would you look at that? Okay, so if I'm right in saying that this is indeed the Finch Backpack 15 inch, so we can fit the laptop into that, 
Let's have a look inside it at the space that we're working with. Oh my gosh, it is very, very nice. Oh wow. Wow. Okay, so I don't even have to like put a camera in there to show you. I've just pulled this entire thing out of that. And yeah, look at the amount of space in that. We like that. Okay, package number two. Oh. <laughs> and for the reveal. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so this is clearly a travel-on case, which is very, very damn nice. And even though it's on a table, that, <laughs> this is smooth. That is sleek. Look at that. Look at this. Look at the striping on this thing. That is sleek as chips. Let's take a look inside. Ooh, let's get that bad boy open. So sleek. Please wait. Let's come out of it. <laughs> there was more stuff inside. What is it? Oh my. That is very nice. Would you look at that? Oh my lordy. All the compartments for all the little pockets, perfect for your cablings. This is very much a bit of me. I like this, I like this, I like this. For gamers, by gamers. Oh, I almost actually forgot to open up the uh, little box that was inside it, which, oh, mm, very nice. We got, I think we just hooked us up with some stickers. We got the Toomey sticker, we got the Razor sticker, and we got the Thor Gamers by Gamers sticker. Which one shall we open up now? I'm gonna go for this bad boy. All right, and behind the box, number three is Indy, 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 Indy. Wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. If I open this up real quick, I think we've got twins. And if I'm right in saying, these are the exact same bag. Uh, Ah, I, I know what's go I know what's going on here. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. If I grab this one and I put this one here and then I put this one here, if I open this, I think I might be right in saying, oh, okay, Razor, I see what you've done here. I see what you've done here. Razor has hooked it up in style with not just one backpack and suitcase, but two backpacks and suitcases. For not just me, but my girlfriend. So when we're traveling, we are looking like the flyest people at the airport. I like that. Oh, wait, I've actually, oh, I've actually got another box. We have got, oh, I'm thinking a laptop cover. Very, very sleek. But we are absolutely swagged out. If we want to just like go out of the house or wherever, you can just throw your laptop in this and be ready to go. And I, I, that is not even it. There's even more inside here. I don't, I don't even know what this is. Does, is this written on this? But what, what, let's give this an opening. I can't see what else I would... I would um, is this a shoulder? I think this might be a shoulder bag. Bozeman sling. Ooh! I think if I'm right in saying the way you're supposed to wear these, because I've never worn one before, is across the front like that. I have never ever done that, but for like traveling, vlogging, and grabbing all my batteries, 100%. I'd actually be more inclined, even though like, you know, it's a sling, you can wear it whichever way you want. I'd probably like switch it around and then like have it on the back like that. So it's like a miniature backpack of sorts, but I guess it's like whichever way is convenient for you. But I tell you something, man. Razor is legitimately the best sponsor in the world. <laughs> She's just got Lydia to do the video. <laughs> She's nailing it. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Like it actually looks so good. Yeah, I like this a lot. That is actually a really nice backpack. I'm not even, I'm not even capping right now. I really like it. I actually do. It's so nice. Suits you, sir. Suits you, sir. Suits you, sir. Now, thank you for watching the unboxing. I hope you did enjoy it. But um, things in the vlog are about to take a little bit of a plot twist. Because if you guys have watched any of my vlogs, you will know that I've repeatedly talked about how I am deadly allergic to wasps to the point where if I get stung, the chances are very high that I could likely die if I don't get emergency help straight away. Well, I've actually gone 17 years without being stung, and I've always wondered, am I still allergic? Like, I don't really want to risk it, like, oh, go and sting me, just, uh, got you, bitch. Uh, I don't want that. That's not the risk I'm willing to take, and I've always tried to avoid them. That was until a few days ago, um, I had a run-in with a wasp, and it just happened to be I got it all recorded on camera for you. So, uh, without further ado, enjoy the tale of how I almost thought I was going to die. Let's go. I'm legitimately running right now. I'm being chased by a wasp. 
Oh my God. Okay, that is the closest. That is the closest in all my years since I've been deadly allergic to wasps to getting stung. Oh my God, I thought it got me down my back of my leg. Oh, holy crap. Okay, so I like, I hope you're enjoying the summery drip, but oh my God, I swear I thought it stung me then. Have I been stung? I hope not. Oh no. I don't think so, it doesn't hurt. But I was just, oh, mate, the back of my leg feels a bit itchy. So, I was just on the front of my house, on the house next door. Oh, back of my leg feels itchy. Feels itchy. I'm gonna have to keep my eye on it and my face. If I start going like, Boof, I've been stung and I just can't tell. And it's about to kick in. Basically, I was sat at the front of my house, at the house, like I said, at the house next door. And I saw this like hole in the ground. And I didn't think anything of it. And I was like, bit of a deep hole, that weird. Anyway, carried on walking. I think I've been stung. Oh my God, I have. I've been stung, I've actually been stung by a wasp. Okay, I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to go inside and, and tell everyone because if I start going inside a flectic shot now, I need to get rushed to the hospital like ASAP. So I'm at the front of my house, okay? And I was sat there for about 10 minutes, chilling, looking at the house, thinking of designs and plans and ideas and stuff like that. And I saw this patch there, that hole, it looks like a hole. You ready? There, look what's coming out of it. There was nothing coming in or out of it at all. I went over there and as I walked back, I was like, wait a minute, that looks like a nest. Like, honestly, I looked at it, there was nothing around it, nothing flying next to it or anything. I walked over there, was over there for five minutes, came back past and loads of wasps just came flying out of there. The wasp, I no joke, just chased me from there to there and it's just stung me on the back of the leg. It actually has, like, it actually has. I'm gonna, I'm, I've got to go and tell my family because if I start going into anaphylactic shock, I need to rush into the hospital. <laughs> Oh dear. I don't want to scare you, but I'm 99% sure I just got stung by a wasp. If, if I need it, I need it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I've definitely been stung. Holy crap. I wish I wouldn't run now because I'm like, like a bit out of breath. And I'd rather, you know, not be out of breath so I could feel whether or not. Because it, it's your throat that goes. Do you know what I mean? Your throat closes up. It, it scratched me. Take that. <laughs> this is your warning. Look at hell. Yeah, this is your warning. Your first warning in 17 years since you've been stung. Imagine if in like six hours I am sat in hospital and my face looks like I've been absolutely smashed to pieces. The last time, Jenny, when I was I was at hospital, because I didn't see what I looked like or how swollen I looked, they, they, we went into the hospital and, my, and they went, I said, my son, my, he was like, my son's been stung by a wasp. And they went, okay, yeah, take a seat. So they sat me down and my dad was like, nah, like I, my face looked like I've been battered. Like my dad described it, I went around like 10 rounds with Mike, 12 rounds with like Mike Tyson. I look, I was like, like squinting, everything was like, like this bad and i didn't see what i looked like until they put me in a wheelchair because they put me in a wheelchair so i wasn't walking to have you know like all my stuff moving around and losing breath so they put me in a wheelchair and wheeled me along and i saw myself in the reflection of some glass and i was like ah that like, really bad oh my God. <laughs> fuck's sake as if i got stuck wearing a shit shirt <laughs> a few hours later if today was a day I was supposed to die, it was meant to be because I've seen so many people today, haven't I? So, uh, it's been non-stop family, friends coming around. Last time, how, how long did it take to kick in? Because it's been what, probably an about, hour? It, probably about half an hour to an hour. I think you're exaggerating. I think you're faking it. Fucking hell, man. Jesus Christ. I think you're looking for attention. <laughs> Imagine if I miss your barbecue. I know. It's it's unbelievable. Don't die for at least seven days. <laughs> at least seven days. Chill out. Now, I don't know who needs to hear this, but i tell you something. I'm very glad I didn't have an allergic reaction. It has been a long, long time, 17 years since I last got stung. And I'm just very glad I didn't go boop, blow up, and then need rush into the hospital. But with that said, I can't be getting stung anytime soon because I've got so much stuff going on with the house and the house next door that is in the works over the course of the next two weeks. That's right. I have finally got some traction moving with the potential builders and we're having our very first pre-meeting before we start the build. So for everyone who's been asking what's going on with the house, I've not been able to say anything because there hasn't been anything to say until this moment right now. So if you're looking forward to it, Leave a like rating because when this begins, it's going to be chaotic. But more importantly, why I want you guys to leave a like rating is because, you know, this is a Thursday vlog right now. And I usually say, hey, new video every Sunday. Well, guess what? I told you it's vlogging season. So there's not just going to be a vlog today, but also on Sunday. And let me say this right now. It is an electrifying vlog. Roll the clip. <gasps> I think I fucking got it. I think I fucking got it. 
Yes, we have. Where me, Lydia, and her family went on a getaway adventure down to the south of England. Somewhere I've actually not really been exploring all that much, and I had an amazing time and saw some beautiful sights. So I vlogged it, I filmed it, and I'm going to be uploading it for your faces this Sunday. So please do me the favour of hitting that thumbs up button, clicking the subscribe button, and making sure you've got the bell ding dong and notified. That way, when I post my new video, it will be presented to your faces in your sub box. But alas, I will end this vlog. So I'll catch you guys next time. I'll see you on Sunday for the next video. And until then, much love and serious. And will someone please help me get rid of these kegs?